Okay, so I'm just going to show you really quickly, and hopefully you can hear me, um, the way that you set up the site on Comments Sold, or how at least how I do. So down here you have your online store, which is a tab you get once you upgrade to that. Um, otherwise it just like cuts off somewhere in here. But um, basically, so I have a Shopify page, or I had a Shopify page, and this is the site that I have now and I really like it. Um, it it works I think almost better. It might be a little bit easier to navigate for some people um, and you can make it like as much as you want or as little as you want. So you could have down here like these are just my three main areas right now and I just made these um, I don't even know these pictures I guess on Canva. I just took my logo and took some font that they had on there and made these. It took me all of 15 minutes. Um, and so I'll show you how to upload those too. But but basically you can have, like you can update all of this stuff in your comments sold back office. So when you're in comments sold, here are all the tabs that you would have. So for example, these pages. So this about us, contact us, blah, blah, blah. All you would do is when you go in there, you put you know what you want it to say and then you save it and it's done and so then like the about us page I went down here it creates a link for you boom there it is um, I would say like these probably took you know the most amount of time just because I had to like think about what I wanted to say but the collections piece here is really slick too so I created four different areas of collections here um, and the collections you manage from your products which I'll show you in a second so I just created these different collections which again then are here sorry right here okay and I have a sale one up here but basically to do that is you go into one of your products so say I wanted to do this um, floral tea that I have so this is normally what you see, like just this one area. Um, and then down here, this is what opens up when you have the online store. So you can publish it, you can hide it. So you can really do a lot of this stuff like, oh, I know I'm getting all these sweaters in. I'm going to do this now because I have time versus just waiting until they come in, which I kind of felt like I had to do sometimes with comments sold um, without the online store piece. And, or I should say with Shopify, I had to wait, not comments sold, um, with Shopify I had to wait because if I didn't, it went live on my website if I forgot to click the button and so then I just ended up not doing that. So then down here for this shirt, um, depending on what collection I wanted in, so for example I wanted in tops, I just click tops and maybe I want it in the sale. Um, and so I just, I do that, I update it and then give it, you know, a little bit. But then you go to your tops and it'll show up automatically. It just hasn't uploaded yet, but it'll show up automatically. There it is. So here it is already in the sale bin. So literally, like whatever your product is, you just click what collection you want it to be in and it pops up. Um, the only thing is depending on what you're, I mean, I have it arranged where I have a separate like plus tab. I don't know that I'm going to continue to do that because, um, some of my ladies are saying, you know, well, I don't know, like, I don't know. So some of them, I haven't gotten super great feedback with that, but I don't know, it's there. So then you just enter in a product and away you go. So um, I wonder, I don't think I have any new stuff coming tonight or tomorrow or I'd make one for you. But literally all you do is you, to create a product, you do add, you fill in all this stuff however you want. Um, you can have whatever sizes, whatever colors. Um, very much like uh, Shopify has. And then the really nice thing I like about comments sold that Shopify does not do. Oh, and then there's this stuff down here. And again, here you can just plug it right into whatever collection you want right away. Um, the nice thing that I like about comments sold is they have this cost versus the price. So when you go down to uh, one of your reports, there's a report that you can go into 
that shows like your actual profit versus me having to figure it out. So I used to have like a spreadsheet and I would enter in like, okay, this sale or I would, you know, take this, the sales over from Shopify and do that. And it just got to be like one more step that I really didn't want to do. So when I found comments sold and they do it for me, I mean, it was like, okay, this is exactly what I want to do. So I started with comments. So my numbers in here are kind of weird, but I started with comments sold. Um, and my group like took off, like I had a phenomenal sale. And then I was like, well, I want a website because I want to be able to, you know, have people that aren't on Facebook do it. And so then I switched over to Shopify for like two weeks. And I realized I was like, stupid, because my group was the one that was giving me all the sales. And then they Common sold emailed me when I was going to um, stop and ask me why. And I was like, well, I just want a website. And they're like, well, we have a website. So it just kind of made sense. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I can definitely like go in and do more. But basically, you just go through all of these different things. Um, you know, your store logo, you can have all whatever you want in here, you can put as much or as little um, in here as you want. The only thing that's a little tricky that I guess I could show you really quick is this navigation. So you have to have these categories set up um, in here before, so I'm trying to remember. You have to, uh, wait a minute, I'm trying to remember if I did the pages first, let's see. Yeah, so I must have done the pages first because then these links here are those like your URLs that I created um, in the pages. So for example, this page C says, you know, it says backslash pages backslash about. Um, it creates that so then you can link your stuff to that. So about us and there it is. And then you can edit it and whatever. So this navigation piece is what creates this area down here. So once you get in there and just kind of start playing around with it, um, I, I promise like it's really not as tricky as it seems. You just kind of have to play, you know, try this and then, oh, yep, that didn't work and then try something else. Um, but the banners, like this is my banner. This is just my logo. That's what shows up here. So this one, you can put like a slideshow in. You can put just one. Um, you can have as many as you want. And then these adverts, these are those um, buttons down here that I had. And so you just create it and then there's an area where you can upload an image. And so that's what I did. And then it just, this links to my collections and away I go. So it's pretty, I mean, it's, it's really pretty slick. Um, I have to enable my email list, which I need to do still, now that that reminds me. Um, but basically it's just, you click on online store and then it's all within this area. And if you need like extra specific help, which you may, um, you can definitely, they, they have videos on YouTube. I think they have videos on Vimeo. Um, they have you. they have videos like all over their site. You can comment or, you know, message them down in this little box and they'll send you the videos that you need. Um, so it's pretty, it's pretty good. I really like it. So let me know if you have any more questions.